hopefully something good happen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? ADS Play 101 here, and welcome to. Oh, let me turn this down. Let me turn this down. The fan is blowing. Let me turn that off. There we go. Should be a little bit better now. All right, so we are in the test server for Pokemon Unite, and Mimikyu has just been added. So I wanted to go over Mimikyu, or do this live, and hopefully we uh see something good so Mimikyu is labeled as an as a special attack melee all-rounder and you know all-rounders was one of the categories that we needed more of um, probably the third one but we needed more speedsters uh, defenders and supporters and I thought Mimikyu was gonna be a supporter myself but when they announced them during the World Championships, we seen the purple background, so I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we got another all-rounder who is highly offensive, very mobile, and he has a two-and-a-half star uh, endurance. So, first and foremost, the items that they're suggesting for him uh, is a weakness policy, muscle band, and scope lands. So that's what we're going to use for the for the demonstration like that's what we're going to use um so let's, let's take a look at his moves uh first off his basic attack uh becomes a boosted attack with every third attack striking twice with an increased area of attack and uh the next basic attack after using a move becomes boosted so he gets a boosted attack after every ability that he uses so his passive is disguise to no surprise um when a Pokemon when the Pokemon is in disguise form, it takes damage from opposing Pokemon. The Pokemon with this ability has its HP decreased by a set percentage of its max HP, nullifies damage for a set amount of time, and changes it to busted form. At the same time, a revenge mark is applied to the opposing Pokemon de that dealt the damage. So I don't know if that's multiple Pokemon or just one that put it in or the one that put it in its busted form but we'll see the Pokemon with this ability increases its move speed when approaching revenge mark opposing Pokemon and deals increased damage to them if the Pokemon is in busted form for a set amount of time it returns to, to disguise form if the Pokemon knocks out an opposing Pokemon and the time it takes to return to disguise form is decreased so when he's in busted pokemon he basically gets a shield oh what's up alter how you doing alter uh so when he's in busted form or excuse me when he's in disguise form he basically gets some defense um he basically gets, gets defense uh yeah so when uh, he's in disguise form. He uh, basically gets a shield that he basically gets nullified damage and his uh, HP gets decreased by a certain percentage of his max HP. So I'm assuming the higher the higher his defense is, the better that move is. I'm assuming. And then the one that puts him in busted form is either the Pokemon that put him in the busted form. Or all the Pokemon that damaged him at that time gets a revenge mark put on him. So we'll see which one it is. And while he's in busted form, his movement speed increases when approaching the revenge mark Pokemon, and he deals increased damage to him. So he's definitely all rounder material. And uh, if he knocks out a Pokemon while he's in busted form, the time it takes for him to get back to disguise form is decreased. So that's a cool uh, passive. So his first moves are Astonish. He shouts in a, in a startling fashion, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon. Uh, that's Astonish. Uh, his first move is uh, Play Rough. He jumps towards, he jumps forward, then move around um, opposing Pokemon that it hits. I don't know if this is good for crowd control, but we will see. Um, 
dealing damage multiple times and decreasing their movement speed for a short time. After the attack is finished, the user jumps to, a, to the designated direction. And the upgrade increases the movement speed for a short, for a short time after the attack is finished. Um, the next up, we got Shadow Claw. Uh, yo, what's up, one? And uh, Shadow Claw, his Shadow Claw, has the user slash in front of itself with sharp claws, dealing damage to opposing Pokemon it hits, decreasing their movement speed, and restoring uh, the user's HP. Um, whenever the, the user hits a Pokemon with a basic attack, this move cooldown is reduced, and the number of times the user attacks when this move is used next increases. So the next four times after you use Shadow Claw, his basic attacks, or his attacks, I don't know if it's attacks from his abilities and his basic attacks, or just his basic attacks, but it seems like any attack that he does, um, the next four attacks deal, deals increased damage, and the movement speed decreases caused by this can stack. So I wonder if this actually works well with, uh, with Razor Claw, because Razor Claw, um, applies a slow effect as well so that'll be cool to see uh, the upgrade at the end of the attack additional damage is dealt based on the percentage of HP the Pokemon has lost so the less health the more damage it does so muscle band would definitely work good on him for that and it looked like it would work good for his um his disguise passive too but anyway his uh, his second moves is a scratch he starts off with scratch as one of his beginning moves has the user charge in a designated direction dealing damage to opposing pokemon it hits and decreasing their movement speed for a short time for a short time after the user charges if this move is used again the user attacks in front of itself dealing damage to opposing pokemon it hits at that time additional damage is dealt based on the percentage of hp that pokemon has lost so this is actually gonna work well with uh, Muscle Band too. Cause you know, Muscle Band's passive allows you to do more damage um, the more health they have and that kinda ties into this. Um, doing damage based on how many, how much health is uh, lost. So that'd be cool. So next up we got Shadow Sneak. Uh, has the user extended shadow marking an opposing Pokemon. It hits as a shadow target for a short time. If the shadow passes through tall grass or a wall, it extends even further. If the user deals damage to an opposing Pokemon marked as a shadow target, additional damage is dealt based on the percentage of HP that opposing Pokemon has lost. Okay. If this move is used again, the user moves to an opposing Pokemon marked as a shadow target, um, deals damage to it, and extends the duration of that Pokemon's shadow mark. If the user knocks out a Pokemon marked as a shadow target, this move's cooldown is reset and the user recovers HP. So it's a finishing move. It's more so like a finishing move and it's like a... It's pretty much like a catch or like a chase down move and um, it's a finisher. And the upgrade reduces the move's cooldown. And last but not least, we have Trick Room. Now, this is the move I'm interested in. Has the user create a bizarre area around itself? If the movement speed decrease, if a movement speed decrease is applied to the user while in this area, the effect is converted into a movement speed increase, and the user takes reduced damage from Pokemon outside the area. So, also while in the area, the user can use this move again to move a set distance forward as often as desired. That's going to be cool to see. And the upgrade reduces the cooldown. And it's 12 seconds, so it might be a really good move. Because it looks like anti-smokescreen. It seems to be anti-smokescreen, so that's going to be cool. And it's Unite move. And I swear, I, I'm trying to stop the the ad breaks. So forgive me if, uh, if, if an ad pops up. I'm trying to stop them. I don't know how to turn them off. Uh, so please forgive me. Um, the Unite move is Play With Me. It's a sure hit. So has the user leap to an opposing Pokemon and trap it inside its rag, dealing damage over time and granting the user a shield. The trap Pokemon isn't affected by any Pokemon's moves except the user's. So when you use it, only you're able to do damage with it. So it's like an isolation. 
almost kind of like Mordkaiser, uh, oh, in League of Legends, kind of, kind of, a situ kind of deal. How Mordkaiser kind of pulls you into like a one-on-one -on -one situation with his ult. His is kind of like that. When you use his, can't nobody outside of that ult do any damage to him, uh, to the target. So the user loses loses its shield, or if a set amount of time passes. The user stops attacking and jumps to in a designated direction. So he jumps on him, beats him up. Nobody else can do any damage to him, and then he jumps off. But you're sacrificing a shield to use it. So I'm assuming that this is like you only want to use this when you're in busted form. When your disguise is in busted form, you know. I'm assuming you want to use it that. So we're gonna start off with uh, play rough and uh, and shadow sneak. That's the moves we're gonna start off with and. The recommended are weakness policy, muscle band, and scope lens. So we're going to start off with those. Practice area. And uh, for this, I want somebody with high defense but can still do good damage. I don't know if. Let me see. Who can apply a slow effect? Like, what Pokemon can apply slow? I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna see if... This is that Trick Room, I, I kinda wanna see if, if it counters Clefable's gravity. I think that'd be dope. But I wanna see if, uh, you know, who applies a slow effect. I think Duraludon does. Cannon and Stealth Rock. Because I want to see Wiggly. I'm going to put Slow Smoke on him. I'm not using Trick Room right away, so I, I probably don't need to do that. But I'm definitely going with, with that. Custom Loadout. I'm using. Oh, he's special attack, so I need special attack. So let's go with, uh... I go with my special attack build. It's like... Negative 100. Probably the cooldown one would, would be better if I used the Trick Room. But, uh, I'm not gonna use that one right away. Um, so the loadout I'm using is a negative 100, plus 27... Uh, with a max bonus uh, special attack, I'm gonna use that one. So we're gonna get started. Let's see what we uh, what we end up dealing with. Go ahead, right my way. Um, and to everybody watching and will be watching this on YouTube, please consider. Uh, Watching the video on my on my TikTok, I'm kind of going through something right now. So, any donation would help. Um, you see it scrolling down at the bottom of the screen. Donate by any means. If not, share. And uh, let's see what mimic you got. So, is astonish. Oh, his his attack got some reach to it. He got a fairly good, decent range. Now his scratch. Okay. He dashes towards him first. Scratch dashes towards him. And then he scratches again. And it hits multiple people. Okay, I think a commercial break is trying to pop up. It starts in four minutes, but I'm gonna try to like delay it. Now his scoring is said to be slow. It's not slow. His scoring is like a one. So I start off with play rough. 
it's better than it's better than uh I think it hits multiple people. It hits multiple people, it looks like. Okay, let's get up to Dorala now. I want to see how many hits it takes to... So after every move he does, he gets a boosted attack. I'm going to remind myself. No, he doesn't. I thought I said after every move he gets a, he gets a boosted attack. A shadow sneak. Oh, so it's a wall jump. Let me see if the user is over a wall. The shadow extends. Oh, damn. So maybe you can sneak Rayquaza like that. If you're doing enough damage, you could probably sneak Rayquaza. Okay, so that hits multiple people. So if they're close enough, that play rough actually hits multiple people. So that, that has some crowd control properties to it. I wouldn't say crowd control, but it can hit a crowd. So let's see. So right now he's in busted form. That was a Z move. Like I said, guys, if you don't mind, share the live, donate, uh, kind of going through something, please head to my TikTok and watch the latest video. Uh, it'll help greatly. So let's get back to this. I'm trying to get the hell away from him. Okay. So you only want to do this from behind a wall. Don't really want to do it outside anywhere else. So it's a good catch move. So now I'm starting to wonder if he's good in the jungle. All right. He seemed like he would be good in the jungle. Because if his shadow sneak extends based on where he's at, like if he's behind a wall. Then you can you can be real sneaky with that, and you really want him in the middle of a fight anyway, because he uh, wait does this work? It, it doesn't work on. Uh... Like it doesn't really work on. Um... His unite move doesn't work on wild Pokemon, so. That's that. I think he's at the bottom now. I mean, so far, like, I like his first move set. The Shadow Sneak definitely is a, is, is a move that I like. That play rough can hit multiple people, but you have to like catch him at like a certain. And forgive me in advance if there's a commercial plan. Uh, I try to turn them off, but I still don't know how to do that.
hate that the ad breaks is like that. change The ad is thoroughly over. I, I do apologize. I don't know how to turn the ads off. You guys going to be, you know, forgive me for that. But, um, it looked like he'll he'll be fire in the jungle, but. Oh, he can miss Rayquaza. Well, fortunately, when I upload the video to YouTube, it's not going to... Uh it's not going to show. So, that's no problem. Trick Room would probably be a good anti slow for situations like that. this first first skill set we don't have to sit there and wait for it to end so I definitely want to try out the second one okay so that was the first that was the first move set so next we're gonna try shadow claw and trick room which is the one that really intrigues me. With it being an anti-slow uh, slow buff, I'm definitely gonna switch this over from that to this. This one doesn't have as much damage, but it gives me the cooldowns I need, so matter of fact, we might wanna change this to Shell Bell. He does special, or he does special attack, right? Yep. He does special attack. So let me. So it really doesn't benefit him to have. The way they're making it seem, it's like you, it doesn't benefit him to have negative attack. Which I don't know how the hell you gonna. It's going to be weird using him. But the damage he does is special attack, so... But they recommend in two attack items. That's kind of crazy. Like, muscle band and weakness policy are the, is the recommended. I don't know. We'll see. I'm keeping that on him. I'll try to queue up a match after this to see if anybody's actually like 
I'm pretty sure more people are trying to use Mimikyu. But, uh, let's see. Let's not waste no time. Shadow Claw. Trick Room. And that was a seven. There we go. So Shadow Claw. There's a lot of slashes. Wait, this applies slow, doesn't it? Damage decreasing their movement speed and restoring the user's HP. Whenever the user hits a Pokemon with a basic attack, this move's cooldown is reduced. And the next four attacks after that deal increased damage. So when you first use it. Okay, so it has two forms. When you first use it, you want to attack. Oh, like you want to attack first, you don't want to... Okay. So it has two sides to it, like when you first... Like if you just use it, you'll do that, but you want to attack first. So you have to attack first. But you attack... Like without attacking first, it just does one swipe. But if you attack first, it gets boosted and it does like a multiple uh, scratch. It, it, it does a multi hit. area is like kind of big okay so this is this is anti-range attack and anybody that tries to run away or do like slow effects gives them a, uh, it gives them a uh, speed boost instead but it's definitely anti range then the attack the damage dealt and does increase damage so it's anti slow so the move itself is anti-slow. Heals him. So them four hits heal him. You know, you keep wanting to have hope for like maybe uh, Drain Crown. But that's always going to be a risk because Drain Crown itself is like, as long as they got a shield, you're not healing for it. Might be good to put uh, special attack specs on. So I would definitely take off. And I think the 
a cool down gets reduced. But you need to be by somebody in order for it to, uh... In order for it to activate. Which I don't know if this is a point and click. It is. Yeah, that's definitely the end. Shadow Claw may be a good, maybe the better one to go with. Considering you can just wipe out like groups like that. This is definitely the better one to go with. So it doesn't stop stuns, it just stops slows. It does not stop stuns, only slows. healing that he gets from Shadow Claw is, is, is good. I know that's based on damage he does. So if I put um, if I put special attack specs on him that might be a better be a better option because if you're going with shadow claw you definitely want that healing and trick room you're gonna want that cooldown let's see what's the cooldown on trick room Oh, that's the revenge mark right there. Yeah, I see it. It's not bad. I like the damage, but... Like, we would definitely have to, like... Increase it. So, I think... It might be difficult, but if there's a way to make a, a health build... That only low that lower regular attack, I think that'll be helpful. I don't need to change the name of this. I was gonna max these out. Let's 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we would have to max out at HP that lower help that lower regular attack, which is kind of an uphill battle. Six. The rest of this would have to be green. I don't know a little bit of defense, who cares? Something like this will probably be good. I'll probably run with this. Let's see. What are we gonna change this to? Let's say um HP minus attack. HP slash negative attack. Let's take this off. Take off muscle band. Let's put on. Let's gonna run with this instead for the time being. Let's see how bad or good this is. Plus 450. We got negative 5 defense, but that shouldn't hurt us too much. Negative 0.6 critical rate and negative 35 movement speed. But we got X speed to take care of that, so let's let's try that. Shadow Claw because I think that's better. And uh, I'll keep Trick Room. There we go. So I got Dorala down to level 9 and I got. Six. Okay. 
since we got that six, let's go up here to... For my all rounders to have a little bit more sustainability, but it's not bad. the stacks up four times. Trick Room is definitely going to be an anti-slow. That's crowd control all day. I can get it down to six seconds. They said it's 12 seconds. So if you just use it and not. So the whole time is active, it, the cooldown is gone. So really, you only have six seconds. They said 12, but I guess they wanted the cooldown to be like. Yeah, I guess they wanted the cooldown to be. Slow. Ooh, real good against anybody that can slow. Yeah, that um, that muscle band seemed like it was needed. for a cool 500 a hit. So now, 
Low key, I kind of want to put Razor Claw on him. Because if he got moves that apply a slow effect, like Shadow Claw, then I definitely want to see just how much that slow effect like, comes into play. It seems like their Shadow Claw was doing more damage when I had Muscle Band on. I can see where the intermediacy comes from. Like you don't, you really don't want to go on the offensive until he gets into his busted form. But that's when the da that's when his damage really like goes up. He's not. He's really not bad. He actually does a pretty good he has pretty good move um, as an all rounder I'm still kind of confused as to why they, they would suggest like attack uh, items for a special attacker but outside of that I mean I don't know like him though um trick room definitely is good crowd control but that's really gonna take some getting used to to use effectively it looked like it's gonna be anti obviously it's gonna be anti chandelure uh anti wiggly wiggly tough or anybody with smoke screen for sure it's definitely going to be uh, anti those things um, but I don't think it really adds to damage it's just to help you move around fast and I'm kind of wondering if that gets passed on to 
it don't look like it get passed on to allies. That shadow, that shadow sneak is. That's the chase down right there. And I like his Z move, his uh, his unite move too. So 